hey you guys welcome back or welcome to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful life of course in today's video i'm going to unbox my very first google phone the pixel 6. i've been wanting to try out a pixel phone for a very long time now and even though i would have preferred to try out a new model i opted in buying this model instead because i was thinking of exchanging my brother's s20 fe to this but unfortunately since i got this from amazon it came sim locked and there's nothing i could do about it and no my carrier couldn't unlock it themselves because of some complications on the phone so Amazon ended up refunding me my money back and told me I could do whatever I wanted with the phone. So here I am reviewing it for y'all. A used Pixel 6 typically goes for 150 to 220 US dollars. It comes with a 6.4 inch OLED screen with 90 hertz refresh rate and a 4,614 mAh battery capacity. Mine came with 800 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. The CPU is from Google themselves called the Google Tensor with Titan M2. From my research, it seems to be comparable or better than the snapdragon 888 that was released with other android devices in 2021 something that i wasn't sure about was the ui i wasn't sure if i'd be able to add my personal touch and give it a splash of a personality but the google pixel has a feature where you can change the style of the whole phone in just a matter of seconds which i'll be showing y'all soon As always, I bought myself a screen protector, but it wasn't the right fit. Don't worry though, because I had a little chat with Amazon themselves. Just give me my money. More importantly, Tudio has sent out some cases for me to keep my phone protected. I tried a few of their cases for my books Palma and Cobo Clara Color. I'll make sure to leave their links down below if you like to keep your expensive electronics safe as well. They didn't have a clear case or a similar green color that matched the beautiful green Pixel 6, but it ended up working out after I ended up customizing everything. If you're not a fan of the icon from Google, you can still download an icon, widget, and theme app to customize it more. Keep in mind, you can't remove the Google search widget on the bottom or the date and weather widget on the top left corner. The only app I really use to personalize the calendar widget on the home screen is the widget app. And the wallpaper can be found on one of my Pinterest boards named cute icons, wallpapers, and stuff, which will also be linked down below. The screen looks really beautiful thanks to the OLED display. Scrolling on social media, watching videos, and reading novels and manhwa looks really, really nice, even with this only having a 90 hertz refresh rate. So I'm going to be testing a couple of games. The first one is pretty chill, so this phone can easily handle those. I will also be trying out Love in Deep Space and Genshin Impact, which are both are pretty hefty and demanding games. I didn't get to try out Roblox like I normally do because I needed one of my siblings' credentials, but I wasn't able to get it during this day, but rest assured that the Pixel 6 can handle Roblox as well. I had the graphics set between low and medium settings for Genshin and Love in Deep Space, so I didn't experience any overheating or discomfort while gaming. Oh my gosh, if you fall, I promise you. That's what I thought. You're lying, you're lying. 
Este es... The Pixels are well known for amazing cameras like Samsung, so this one didn't disappoint. If I wasn't knee deep into Samsung's ecosystem and the fact I like the S Pen feature, I'd probably make the switch, especially with the new Pixel 9 rollout. Hopefully, I'll be lucky in the future to be able to collaborate with Google themselves and try out one of their newer models for y'all. I love the fact that they have different models, colors, and price ranges for different needs and pockets, unlike some fruit company that we all know all too well. Well, that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching another cozy-ish unboxing and review session with me. Please stay safe and take care of yourselves. See you on the next one. Deuces.